so i'm back again with another new video and this video is gonna be on how to make genome less boring so actually you can see uh, on my last video i did a installation guide for the fedora 32 so in this video i will show you how to make fedora look less boring like you can see here the stock genome shell is somewhat less interesting so without further ado let's get started as you can see here that i am in my virtual machine and you can see it's just the stock genome and i have just installed some software let me just clear the screen so uh, before getting into started i would assume that you would ha you will have uh, no knowledge regarding customization and want to learn how to customize the genome shell the stock shell which comes the stock desktop environment which comes with fedora or many other desktop many other distributions like ubuntu and others so let's get deep dive into it so first of all you need to install genome tweak 2 so since i'm on fedora here i would install like sudo dnf install genome tweak okay then just i will just use tab completion and i don't know why it's taking maybe it's just a vm issue but it just takes some seconds oh no okay so let's just do this okay you know tweaks not fun let's see you know tweaks maybe i missed an s yeah so as you can see here uh, genome tweaks is already installed since I installed it like right now few moments earlier so your first task will be to install this one now after installing this you'll have like tweak okay you'll have this tweaks option you just uh, press the super key or start button and search for tweaks then you will see it okay so in here you will have options like some mods which you can apply to your stock genome shell so this will include like over amplification then these animations you can turn on and off suspend when laptop lid is closed on and off as per your requirements so there's also this extension menu with which you can like uh, install all of your customizations or add-ons so today i'm not go going to dive into these extension things yeah i mean you will need one extension called this one uh user shell extension so for that you will need it but right now i'm not going into that part so let's just go to this customization thing okay so first of all uh, you will need this extension for like uh, so that you can install your custom shell theme so let us go to um extensions dot what extensions genome okay i just search it ah so google is the is default browser so we are using that only so here you can see it's giving me warning i mean you can install actually uh, extensions from here only but there you need to, to do some setups like you need this user themes we need this user themes extension for now so they recommend it like controlling has two ports this and that so i may be not covering this part here so as you can see here it is given let us go into this you know shell extensions page uh, no. wait what is happening no no okay so let okay so leave it let's just uh, go through how to install this okay so installing genome shell themes continue installation okay so you need to add this thing okay now you need a native host connector let's go to the wiki page
and we can see here we have like on our Fedora Linux we have this one let's just copy and where is our terminal there's our terminal so we need sudo let's install this one okay so it's already installed nice uh, maybe it just installed it right away so now I think we need to restart or something like that wait let's see is there something we need to do else no so I think we need to just reload Let's see. Yeah, see, we got this option. So you need the first ext extension, this user themes. So for now, I will be just installing this. Yeah, see, you got this install option. Click on install. So it will just install it right away, hopefully. So let's just check. Yeah, okay. So my network connectivity went down, and I think this is installed. So let's just close this because it doesn't auto refresh. Then let's open tweaks. Now what am I typing? Tweaks. Okay. Go to extensions and you can see here we have user themes. Okay. So and this option is now unlocked. So right now we don't have any our custom themes. We have our default Advaita theme. So let's get into it. Like how to proceed next. So I will not be deep diving into this extension factor for today's uh, episode of our this video. So let's go into customization. Now this is a page called Genome Looks. Okay. So from here you can browse like hundreds of thousands of themes which you can like. So for example, now you can choose any theme from here. Now I will just show you one example of how one theme can look like the other so let me just choose this and themes okay so it's a rating is also good and i think it won't disappoint you okay so let's get started with and theme so first of all let me just see that whether the looks are okay or not uh, something like that hmm. is the theme good yeah it looks good okay so let's stick with it okay so in here you can see that they have given like these instructions so basically you need one themes directory in your uh, home folder so home directory let's just create it okay so by default you uh, upon opening home you will see these folders are there you have you might have some other folders but I mean, if you're from Windows, you call them folders, but we call them directories. Okay. So first job will be your to show hidden files. Okay. Now you can see all these files with starting with a dot are actually hidden because they are not for your general user editing configs. These are just to be to configuration for certain configuration purposes. Okay. Let's just create a folder called dot themes. Okay dot themes as they said here okay so now let's download the theme file uh, they have like and dracula theme okay mm, and bloody and dracula okay let's just go with dracula okay dracula x and pink oh there's a graphical glitch i think or it hasn't scaled okay let's just click on download here and hopefully it will start downloading okay now i am going to directly extract it oh no okay let's save it okay cool saving here let's just open it here and let's just click on extract okay so this whole thing is extracted now here okay so cool i will just cut it and inside this themes folder i'll just paste it okay great let's just quit it and reopen tweaks okay 
go to this appearance uh, what it's not loaded what went wrong hmm. what went wrong okay inside oh okay so inside it these folders so we actually need these folders okay not that one merge folder yeah okay merge skip okay so we have like Dracula pink accent let's just take everything inside it okay shouldn't have extracted it right like that okay just delete it great so actually you need to extract those folders which are inside that folder into here so themes may differ I think they shouldn't have done this okay so that's great let's just close it open tweaks again and you should be able to see yeah you can see we have like dracula dracula okay dracula theme so here cursor for we don't have any cursor theme okay we have icons we haven't installed any icons shell we have like this okay so let's just go with this slim shell uh, everything should update no everything's not updating hmm okay i guess all of these are saved okay so everything is great so this is actually the process of how you would uh install any theme so for example uh let me just open my home directory my own home directory and you can see here we have i have like dot themes folder you can see dot themes folder Similarly, if you want icons, you will have dot icons folder and also I think there are yeah dot fonts folder if you want your custom fonts. Okay, so let's just make something like that. Let's search here. Okay, mm, let's, let's just search for uh, icons. Okay, to demonstrate only. So let me just go here create a dot icons file okay folder sorry so let's just see which icon theme looks good okay mm. let's go with uh, this icon pack Mojave CD so i actually like this icon pack if you if your favorite is any other icon pack just go go with it okay it's all like the same okay they have given a video i mean i haven't tried this icon theme earlier let's just see okay light night mode okay let's just go with it okay So it is like 10 MB here. Let's just click on download. Now it will be um, okay. Let's open with files. Okay, cool. This should take roughly one minute or well, less than a minute. Okay. So it is done and as you can see here uh, it's automatically extracting as I uh, open it with files Wow this VM is slow I think I'm using a VM that's why it's so much slow I mean extracting a 10 megabit megabyte file won't take uh, one minute or so Maybe because I am also recording, so that could be a reason too. By the way, I am using OBS Studio for recording stuff now. Okay, so extraction is now complete and we have all our icons here okay so let's just cut 
and inside our icons let's paste okay what is also taking time is this supposed to happen i mean i had dot icons right or dot icon yeah dot icons okay so that's great okay so our icon is now here let's just close it now as you can see why i keep reopening you see our icon has not popped up here let's close it click on tweaks and open tweaks hmm. i'm going on appearance icons you can see our icons is here now let's check out oh you see icons have now changed you can open files see all the icons have changed now the resolution is quite messed up in this vm because i don't know for some reason i'm not getting my 1920 by 1080 resolution on this vm i'm getting like a 16 to 10 ratio so could be a vm related bug so i don't know i'm really running a low resolution here so i think these icons are high dp so that's why they're not scaling up right so that could be a reason Anyways, uh, furthermore, if you want to shift, if you're from uh, is moving here from a Mac or something like that, so if you want to shift your icons to from this right corner to left corner, you can do that like on window title bars, the placement, let's say left. Okay, so it causes a little bit of glitch in this tweak tool. So if you just expand and contract, then you see this icon is now okay. So then, then you can like have your maximize button and minimize button. Okay. So this, there you go. Like you can customize here like dates, then seconds and also battery percentage if you like. Okay. You can also have like weak numbers. Like here we don't have these weak numbers. You can just like enable it. Then you can have like weak numbers okay so there you go uh, thanks for watching my video and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more great content on linux so peace out